This video is fourth lecture from a mini course on building workflows using SharePoint Designer 2013. In this video, you will learn how to open the sites using SharePoint Designer 2013. If you want to take full course, click on the link below and enroll for free mini course on building workflows using SharePoint Designer 2013. I hope to see you in SharePoint Journey School. In this video, you will learn how to open SharePoint site using SharePoint Designer. For that, let's type SharePoint Designer or SharePoint in your window. Then it will open the SharePoint Designer. Copy the site which you want to open using SharePoint Designer. Click on Open Site and paste the URL. Click Open. So once you click Open, it will prompt for the credentials you need to enter. Type the username and click Next. And then enter the password of your SharePoint site. Then click on Sign In so it will get connected and so you can see that it's contacting the information to get and also you see that it's communicating with the web services that will give the data for this particular designer so it's again the client application that is trying to get the information once it is loaded you can see that the lists that are available you can see the workflows site pages site assets that are available and list of content types within the site and also the site columns that are available in the site external content types if there are any so you can see all this information along with that you can see all the files that are available within the site and if i go back to the workflows i can see what are the different types of workflows i could create list workflow reusable workflow site workflow and if i select sharepoint site itself i i can see a lot more options like recycle bin save as site template okay and also i can create a sharepoint list even the document library and i can add users as well from this particular sharepoint designer so in this particular video you have seen how to open a sharepoint site using sharepoint designer so this is the end of the module one what we're going to do in the next module is we will see what are the types of workflows you could build in module two let me know in the comment section if you have any questions if you haven't installed SharePoint Designer yet, please go ahead and install it and open the SharePoint site. Let me know if you have any questions or issues while working with SharePoint Designer once you open the site. I will see you in module 2. Click link on right to watch next lesson from build workflows using SharePoint Designer 2013 mini course or click link on the left to enroll full course for free on SharePoint Journey School. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you want to get more videos from SharePoint Journey School. I hope you to see in SharePoint Journey School. Thanks for watching.